Elixir. The secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflict and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. The Azure Heaven is dead! The Yellow Heaven must rise! The Azure Heaven is dead! <laughs> Bear witness to the power of your younger brother. The world shall soon bask in the majesty of the Yellow Heaven. Bring prosperity for all. Bring prosperity for all! <laughs> Damn it. Militia soldiers! Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. I found you, bearer of the eternal elixir field. <laughs> As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Let us depart. Take this. I'm sure it will prove useful. It's a medicine created from refined chi. With it, you can heal most wounds. I don't think we will be able to pass through this way. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower.
Estimating an enemy with high morale is certain to end badly for you. This was the village elder's residence. This is barbaric. So the yellow turbans won't even stay their swords for the elderly. Disasters. Yet, they have deteriorated into new bandits that prey on others who are also weak. Whatever brings them to this extent, I wonder. One wrong step, and we are done for. We must tread carefully. We shall have to find another way around. I sense that something valuable lies around here.
get it together. <sighs> You've done well to get this far. But it's not over. Ah, yes. If we rid this area of enemies, might we be able to stop by my house? There's something I wish to give you. As <laughs> Well-earned victory. I hope that everyone who escaped the brutality has gone into safety now. I sense a great danger ahead. Do be careful. Dogs of the Han <laughs> Court, are you? Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades! <laughs> You'll be begging me to spare you! You're not as weak as you look, huh? We can't let our guard down, even now. Damn it! What is that power? I, General of Man, brother of the Great Sage Mentor! I shall not betray my brother's trust! Fought very well. Now the village is safe. <laughs> 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 
by my hand. Why are you? <laughs> you shall die. <laughs> Ying Long, every bit as strong as the rumors say. <laughs> this world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. Enough. You're badly wounded. <laughs> Back to camp. Go. <laughs> Forgive my rudeness earlier. A militia soldier, are you? If so, would you kindly lend your courage to me? I lead the forces of General Gongsun. My name is Zhao Yun. The Yellow Turbans have control of Mount Dongshan. You don't look short of confidence, but surely you have an ally at your side. Huh? <laughs> 
were so starved they couldn't possibly have fought back. The yellow turbans must be stopped, or our land will be ravaged beyond recognition. down their leader, to gain control of the situation. Let us go together, my ally. This will deal a sharp blow to the enemy's morale. against time. We must hurry.
We will have to make a stand here. This foe may pose us a challenge. Be sure to keep your guard up! You fought well, my friend. That was a sight to behold. I cannot understand how one as strong as you could have gone unnoticed. Your force was like that of a dragon soaring heavenward. <sighs> my companion, or a smile as he departed this life, falling on the field of battle. I was unsure of what I ought do to protect those dear to me. But you, a warrior as valiant as a dragon, have shown me the way. I, Zhao Yun, shall pierce through the darkness, enveloping our age. An army of a hundred thousand might stand in my way, but it would matter not. For like a majestic Chilin, I shall carve out a road to peace! <laughs> Forward. We will retake the mountain, and avenge the fallen! I had not expected demons to be among them. This could become even more difficult. I don't believe you're from around here, are you? Well, it's a world of chaos out there these days, wherever you go. Without a weapon you can rely on, you're practically a dead man walking. Sorry, where are my manners? I'm a traveling blacksmith. Name's Ju Sha. I'm out here trying to hone my craft, hoping to master it one day. Have a look at my work, if you please. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your eye. The county office, fallen to ruin, now serves the Yellow Turbans as a base. It mirrors the state of our empire with uncanny accuracy.
Let's consider falling back. Execution ground, didn't you know? <laughs> the Tianju hermits will get no mercy. That goes for the women as well. Quickly! Find somewhere safe! He charges at us wildly. Could we not use that to our advantage? this victory, we move a step closer to peace. You saved me. <sighs> Thank you. You are lucky to be alive. However, I am not the one you should think.
My name is Hong Jing, and I've been investigating the yellow turbans. That jade is... <sighs> I must leave you now. I advise you to head to Guangzong, to the yellow turbans headquarters. It would be an immense boost to the Imperial forces if you were to join the ranks. Would you mind taking me along? Won't you stop, Ida? Don't be so reckless, Ida. These brave warriors saved my life. Huh? What? Mm. <laughs> my apologies. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> okay. It's time to find out how strong you really are. How about we play a little game? Who can take out the most rebels? You or I? Let's keep pushing them while we have the advantage.
Pledged our braids to our brother. <laughs> that was an easy kill. Nobody can stop us. <laughs> Your flag's ours, and we aren't giving it back. Want to keep your eyes peeled for loot around here? Ugh. Hold on there a second. I'll back you up.
Lord General of Earth! The enemy is almost upon us. Please, my lord, order a retreat. Do not falter, for our mission is clear. To bring the world under the yellow heaven. <laughs> Those foolish enough to stand before us shall know true regret for their folly. Just try to evade my sorcery, if you can. Burn in the fires of hell. Must rise. Surprise! The Yellow Heaven! Elder Brother, we'll see it done. <laughs> ha! He can blather away in the afterlife now! Brother! You know what to do. <laughs> hmm? Come on, let's get it done. Huh, huh. Eh. 
Dragon of Heaven, bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will! Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Chinlong itself. What a feeling! We've not done that since back at the Peach Orchard. Indeed. My soul has not been stirred like that for some time. <laughs> Brother, you are unharmed. The Yellow Turban soldiers have left the area. Take the path behind the altar and go to Guansong. <laughs> we will follow and no doubt meet again. Assuming you don't get yourselves killed! Our 10,000 men are pitted against 20,000. Have you a plan, Commandant Chow? Part of our forces will serve as bait and distract the enemy. Utilizing the diversion, a separate force will target Zhang Jiao. Not bad. But... How will we split their forces? Zhang Jiao is no fool. If he remains hmm. guarded... Hmm? Hmm? A secret route we discovered earlier. It's likely our best option. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent! What a wondrous turn of events. And I shall take this one with me. As you please. A tiger with prey in its sights won't be diverted after all. Come fight alongside me. And you might make a name for yourself. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. The tiger is prowling impatiently. Show him you fear not his fangs. The tiger is prowling impatiently. We can get to the secret path from the cliff over there. Please, follow me. Oh, I hadn't considered that possibility. How did you find out? The chi there is being distorted by something evil. Tracing the flow led me to what I believe to be the source. It could be the Yellow Turban's base. A distorted flow of chi, you say? <laughs> This being their headquarters, the troops here are the best they've got. These rebels genuinely believe the lies spewed by Song Chao and the like. They'll fight to the last man. Commandant Chao and I had been ordered by the court to capture this fort. We were having trouble thinking of a strategy.
I know someone that has been face to face with death when I see them. It's good to know you've got reliable company out here. There looks to have been especially fierce fighting here. This is their front line of defense. If we're not careful here, things could turn up. what I call a battle. fiendish demons to contend with. And meanwhile, those we fight to protect are suffering unimaginably.
Spoils of this fight are yours. Do as you wish with them.
to the Imperial Court while lamenting what it's become. It would be a terrifying prospect to have to face him as an opposing <laughs> Slay a tiger. I had a moment of weakness. My apologies. You've enabled me to keep on fighting, and fight I most certainly shall.
Listen, I'm put on the back foot. Up and drink, for there is no other way. <laughs> Prosperity for all. So that's Sun Zhao, eh? I shall stop his feverish demagogue here! The enemy is planning something! Fought magnificently. I'll need to take care not to be overshadowed. The glory of this victory is all yours this time. <clears throat> Who is this strange person? <laughs> what a foul aura. Oh, you. You do not fear this chi. You are wasted as a militia soldier. The Swan Clan's strength rivals even that 
of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi. Who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world? Will it be I? Or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival. Commandant Chow must be told what happened here. I must make haste. <sighs> this chaos... is it all his fault? I need to let the Master know, right away. Will you join me? I tell us all about our fates. The star of Zhang Zhao, the leader of the Yellow Turban Rebellion that upturned our world, was extinguished along with his life. But war is not so easy to quell, and the stench of death yet rises from the earth. The source of destruction stems from the greed of the very men who swore to protect the land. And so, our brave heroes must stand once more against injustice. Back at last, Hong Jing. So it so was worried, you know? <sighs> it's not every day we get a visitor. Uh, yes, I know. But there's no time to explain now, sorry. Master! Master! Demon showed up on the mountain. He went to find out what's going on. Thank you for letting me know. I'm very worried. But we need to prepare properly if we're going up the mountain. Mount Tianjushan awaits us on the other side. Ready? We have to find my master. We'd best head for the summit. Don't worry, I know the mountain like the back of my hand. for trouble here. That could make a big difference. Same mistake again. something around here. Look carefully. Leave this to me. I'll hold 
My master is the best caster of wizardry spells in the whole village. So, he should probably be fine. I'm just slightly worried for his age. in the bamboo wood. And my brother will always come to help me. But never mind that. Master's all right. I'm 
in a bit of trouble here. Could you help me out? With you here, I guess there's nothing to worry about. like this. It was like one. Victory, a new road to the future opens. <sighs> Thank you for the help. <sighs> the body's internal sources of energy from which chi flows are known as elixir fields. Depending on its application, chi can convert to either a genuine state or a demonic one. 
We hermits of Tianzhu, dwelling far from prying eyes in the mountains, harness genuine qi to wield wizardly spells. We have tracked the course of man's destiny for countless ages. Yet we have now entered a time of ceaseless war that has flooded the land with demonic qi and even allowed vile demons to roam unchecked. Fate intended for us to meet here. So I ask you, will you help me hunt down those responsible for this plague of demonic qi? Your qi is what will restore light to this age of darkness. Even Baizu has taken a liking to you, it seems. I never imagined I'd see this mountain overrun with demons. It goes to show that the demonic chi is still rife. Master! You shouldn't overexert yourself. Hearing you say that... <laughs> really makes me wish I was young again. Ah, I take it you have new information? <laughs> Let's return post haste. I see. That explains why the yellow turbans had been infused with demonic chi. This reminds me of something. I'm sure I had it somewhere around. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, here. Here we are. Elixir is formed of chi, and to create a genuine brew, an immense quantity is needed. A quantity near impossible to gather without a huge loss of life, such as that which is caused by war or disaster. Gathering it also requires a vessel, an elixir field housed within a human. But not just any. Only the elixir field of a descendant of a lineage blessed by dragons may prove sufficient. I think we can reasonably conclude that the genuine elixir is connected to the current disturbances. Master, have you any idea who the Taoist atop the dragon was? <laughs> There are more than a few Taoists who wouldn't flinch at such foul things. But to find out who it is, we may simply need to track down the source of demonic chi. <sighs> then our next destination is... The capital. There is a high official in Luoyang, regarding whom there are countless unsettling rumors. <laughs> Let's set off. You must be careful. And keep an eye on Hongjin. <laughs> she has a reckless side. Perhaps it runs in the family. Oh? Oh. Chief Yunus Song does not meet those who come without appointments. On your way with you! <sighs> come with me. <sighs> You're late, Amon. And, who are they? You will enjoy this. They are the ones who took down Zhang Jiao, and I came upon them by chance, who would not be tempted to bring them along. 
Is that so? I'm Yun Shao, Colonel of the Central Army. I've known Chao Chao since he was a stripling. Hmm. Even the counselor's estate can outapproach Jiang Liang now. And yet, that doesn't mean nothing can be done. As I expected. So this well is a secret passage. Very well. I will lead the way. However, if this passage is blocked, there's no way back. We should leave a lookout here. I will be on watch. Jiang Rang is a high eunuch that controls many political fields. Yet he has not been seen in the Imperial Court for a long time. No, instead he is said to hide the manner of his that oozes a malicious chi. Many have gone to inspect his activities, believing him to be that dubious elixir. In order to stop the spread of this elixir, we must first grasp its origin. Investigation. This will be no easy feat. Forsaken sight. The damage to these bodies tells they died in horrendous pain. Just what have you done here? Stirring in my soul like never before. Tend to perish here. Raise your head high, for it was your strength that won this battle. Now we have the shot. Whatever she is coming for, that will be something to behold.
I can feel a stirring in my soul like never before. <laughs> I would hazard that Jung Rung built this dungeon on his own purse. There's no other way he could have kept the trusted servant of the court such as I, ignorant of its existence otherwise. <laughs> think anyone would come for me. I got myself captured while going after a little friend of mine. <laughs> you see, I'll be able to get back myself. Don't worry. There are more of the little fellows waiting for me back on Mount Tianzhushan. We'll see each other again there. Like dormant in this area. These corpses are fresh. Keep your eyes sharp. <sighs> A 
formidable enemy awaits. Ready yourself. Such ferocity. They must have seasoned warriors among their ranks. Keep attacking. This one is in the bag. How is it, Amon? The way appears narrow. I can see the prison further in. <sighs> Thank you for saving my life. I am Jen of Zhongshan <clears throat> Commandery. <gasps> It is devoted to my protection. Please forgive its impoliteness. Hmm. Eunuch Zhang has been rounding up innocent people and stealing their life energy underground here. If this white snake had not guarded me, I too would be... Hmm. May I ask who you are? Colonel Yuan? The one who is favored so by the stars? What fate that we should meet here? Indeed. I am Yuan Shao. <clears throat> so, this is what the stars foretell then. <gasps> ben Shu, I shall leave the young lady in your hands. We can't take her with us. Well... Don't let your guard down out there. Move. There's an entrance to the manor just up this way. That's all the information I was able to extract from that spy, though. Are you ready? Dungeon. It is not clear what he's up to with such strange behavior. He is a man of honor and suspicious and indecisive. Yeah. <sighs> 
feel a stirring in my soul like never before. <laughs> Chaos has lingered long after the collapse of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Now even regional lords have started scheming in detriment to peace in the land. We must temper these wild flames before another like Zheng Jiao emerges. Young run and put an end to this quick this elixir. Post haste. Irritating. <laughs> I can feel a stirring in my soul like never. 
here before. I have much to attend to. Who dares to disturb me? Greetings. It was Eunuch Jiang who spread the dubious elixir across the land, was it not? It seems you cannot talk your way out of conviction this time. Hmm? So you have already thrown away your humanity. Have you no respect for your superiors, Cao Cao? To sneak into my manor and disturb my work. <clears throat> In return for your discourtesy, I shall just have to make do with your team. <laughs> Your discourtesy requires punishment. <laughs> you guessed wrong. I can feel a stirring in my soul like never before. What's wrong, seeing devil? Don't look so smug. Why don't you just give up and relinquish your chi? How very irritating. Impossible! You can't beat me! Perhaps I need more elixir! You do not know the power of the elixir! There's little more we can do now. How pathetic. I trust you can handle it from here. Why you? So it's come to this. <laughs> you... You are... What... What is the meaning of... Wait... Just wait... What is it you desire? You riches... Treasure... Women... Oh... I know. The elixir, yes? I'll give you half of all of it! <clears throat> With all this, I can finally forge an empire to last a thousand years. <clears throat> Looks like someone got here before us. This will bring forth a new wave of chaos on the land. If this is what has been destined, so be it. 
I shall just have to fight tooth and nail. Until the flames of chaos are quelled. I shall not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Tiao Tiao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Chu Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire! War is upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengdu, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. Huh. <laughs> The secret of the elixir's whereabouts was taken by Zhang Rong with him to his grave. Elsewhere, Dong Zhou, a man whose ambition outweighs his conscience, brought the capital to its knees by force. Both Yuan Shao and Cao Cao suspected him to be connected to the elixir and forged a plan to bring him down. These two great eminences lit the way and drew many together. They amassed a colossal force comprised of 18 separate armies to stand against Dong Zhuo. Thanks. What's your name, warrior? I follow General Gongsun. My name is Zhao Yun. Hail General Sun! It's not done yet! I will take the head of Huashang! Ofer, wait! You're too reckless! Now is the time to show the tenacious courage of the Swens. Charge! Ben Chu, victory is within our grasp. Hmm. Men! The time has come to make Dong Zhuo pay for his tyranny! All units attack! Yeah! <clears throat> hmm? I remember your face. Uh huh? Mm -hmm. May glory find you once more on the battlefield today. <clears throat> Our foes are strong as well. You said your name was Hong Jin? Can I ask you to attend to the wounded? <laughs> you propose I flee? To Mei Wu Fort with the elixir? My lord, I, Lu Bu, will hold the enemy back and buy you the time you need.
You do that, Lu Bu.